The WWE Universe is chomping to the bit to see these two competitors go at it. You can count me in on the excitement. I can't wait. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over Ouch. and over again. Drew McIntyre looking to squeeze his opponents like Damn. a set of bagpipes. Byron, that metaphor was uglier than a pile of haggis. Some. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of Man. control. You never want to count a competitor out, but things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. He wants to do this in the ring. If you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre oh. first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the Chosen One. And while it may have been premature back then, I'd say McIntyre is more than living up to it nowadays. Devastating elbow. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial run in WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most dominant superstars on the roster. As would the people he's defeated since returning. And let's look at some of these names, Cole. Bobby Roode, Andrade Cien, Alma, Seth Rollins. Those are some pretty big names, if you ask me. McIntyre's career is a story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go as planned, but boy, chapter two is a whole other story. Gets it out of the way of that one. That was a huge shot to Aleister Black. Drew McIntyre beginning to peter out here. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. Oh, man. Michael, I like your analogy of McIntyre's career as two different chapters. And while Chapter 1 didn't necessarily blow anybody away, there was a foreshadowing of his future success. Well, even Mr. McMahon himself called McIntyre a future world champion, which, of course, later came true in 2017 when McIntyre defeated Bobby Roode for the NXT Championship. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, oh, oh man! Oh, that's the impact. Not sure how much more McIntyre can take. Well, I can promise it's not much. It's about as bad as it gets for him. He is hurt. McIntyre made a great comeback to NXT. Now he's going to need another comeback right now. I don't think I've seen a superstar more driven to succeed than Drew McIntyre. When he was released in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back. And that's exactly what happened. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. This, ooh, what impact. That should do it. And Aleister Black might have just secured the victory. He's in trouble. Following up on what you two were saying about McIntyre's and Aleister Black. Black! Mass! Golly! Aleister Black makes the cover. Two, three, three. 
And Aleister Black is your winner. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. This match wasn't exactly a barn burner, but we can't expect every superstar to be on their A game every time, I guess. I know the match was solidly entertaining, but I really hope these guys would take it to the next level. Regardless, nobody's asking for their money back. Here is your winner, Alistair Black. Alistair Black wins here quite impressively, and Alistair Black walks away with the win. That match certainly lived up to the expectations of what you would see here at Money in the Bank.